In this topic, we're going to discuss lymph and tissue fluid. By the end of this topic, you should be able to answer the questions, what is tissue fluid? What are the functions of tissue fluid? What is the lymphatic system? What is lymph? And what are lymph nodes? Did you know that capillaries can leak? The cells in their walls do not fit together exactly, so there are small gaps between them, as you can see in this diagram here. So plasma can leak out from the blood. White blood cells can also get through these tiny gaps. They're able to move and can squeeze out of the capillaries. Now red blood cells cannot get out. This is because they're too large and cannot change their shape very much. So here you can see how the plasma leaves the capillaries and forms tissue fluid. The excess tissue fluid is drained into lymphatic vessels, which we'll look at in a moment. Now when plasma leaks out of the capillaries into the surrounding cells, we call this tissue fluid. Tissue fluid bathes the cells, providing a stable environment for them. And it's very important. It supplies the cells with all their requirements. These requirements, such as oxygen, glucose, and amino acids, can diffuse from the blood through the tissue fluid to the cells. Waste products, such as carbon dioxide, diffuse in the opposite direction. So here in this diagram, you can see how at the arterial end of the capillary bed, glucose, oxygen, amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, and ions are all diffusing out of the capillary into the tissue fluid. So the tissue fluid is the immediate environment of every cell in your body and it's easier for a cell to carry out its functions properly if its environment stays constant. For example, this means that it should stay at the same temperature and at the same osmotic concentration. Now most of the tissue fluid then passes back into the blood capillaries. So fluid is constantly flowing between the plasma and back into the plasma. Sorry, from the plasma and back into the plasma but some of it does drain into our lymphatic system, which is represented by the green. So what is the lymphatic system? Well, we all know about the circulatory system, but not many people know about the lymphatic system. You can feel your glands beneath your lower jaw, and you've obviously heard about tonsils. These are lymph nodes, part of the lymphatic system. Remember that we discussed the lacteal and a villus, which is in your small intestines. This is a thin-walled vessel that absorbs fats from the gut, and it's also part of the lymphatic system. Not all the tissue fluid returns to plasma in blood capillaries. About one-tenth of it enters a separate system of capillaries called lymph capillaries. Once inside these, the tissue fluid is called lymph. So if you look at this diagram here, you can see the capillary bed with the cells. Excess tissue fluid is drained into the lymph vessels or the lymph capillaries, which is represented by the green there. Lymph capillaries have tiny valves that allow the tissue fluid to enter but will not let the lymph pass out again. They join up to form lymph vessels and these have structures similar to veins. They are thin walled and they contain semilunar valves to make sure that lymph flows in one direction as you can see on the left there. Now the lymphatic system does not have a pump, so the flow of lymph is slow. The contraction of surrounding muscles helps to make it flow. Lymph flows from the tissues to the heart, and the smaller lymph vessels join up to form large lymph vessels which empty into the subclavian veins, which are by your collarbones. Here the lymph mixes with the blood before joining the vena cava just before it enters the heart. Now on its way from the tissues to the subclavian vein, lymph flows through several lymph nodes. Lymph nodes contain large numbers of white blood cells, of which many are lymphocytes. Now during an infection, they multiply 
these white blood cells multiply by cell division and make antibodies. Some of these white blood cells or lymphocytes leave lymph nodes and they circulate around the body in the blood, constantly patrolling for fresh invasions of pathogens. So the lymphatic system is an important part of the body's immune system. So you've come across the terms plasma, tissue fluid and lymph. What is the difference? Well, these three fluids are very similar in composition, but they occur in different places in the body. So remember that plasma occurs within the blood vessels, so it's the liquid part of blood. Tissue fluid is plasma that has left the blood vessels and it surrounds the tissues. And then lymph is found in the lymph vessels. Okay, in summary, we looked at what is tissue fluid, what are the functions of tissue fluid, what is the lymphatic system, what is lymph, and finally, what are lymph nodes. And that concludes our lesson, the end.